we have a 1972 Superior 2200. 22 feet long. This was built by the Superior Bus Company. Construction is all steel. Galvanized steel frame. Anodized steel panels. Spray foam insulation. Very high build quality. In fact, Superior ceased production of this coach in 1979 because they could not compete with lower priced but poorly constructed RVs that were coming onto the market. The drivetrain is a Dodge M300 440 big block backed up by a 727 three-speed automatic power steering power brakes both the motor and transmission have less than a thousand miles on a rebuild. It's also had a four-wheel brake job and a new master cylinder. Paint is a two-stage base coat, top coat, in classic early 70s Dodge colors. Multiple layers of clear. All the windows have been resealed with new parting bead. All the rubber on the trim has been replaced. The decals have been custom cut and re reinstalled. Obviously new mirrors, new wipers, all the lights work. Roof, all the seams have been resealed. New old stock running lights have been installed. Roof's been sprayed out in a two-part epoxy. All the locks on the exterior hatches have been re-keyed so one key fits everything. The generator is in place and works well. Moving on to the interior. Ah, in the category of remember not to piss off your wife. We have left the original bullet hole that the coach came with when we acquired it. It was actually a through and through. Take a quick look at the other side here. There you go, tell her you love her. Okay, moving on to the interior. Screen door is in place and functions as it should. The interior has also been restored, but we have tried to retain some of the vintage charm of this coach. There's brand new cart floors. Do a quick 360 here, starting with the kitchen area. Driving, swivel, passenger seat, dinette, and moving towards the back, we have the sleeping area and the side bathroom. In more detail, we have a brand new range and hood, backsplash, new countertops, new dinette table. Note the aluminum edge banding on the countertop and the table. Did that because we want to contain this original aircraft style cabinetry. It's really quite high quality. However, we have resurfaced the uppers for a more retro modern look, but we did retain all the hardware. Moving forward, note the lucky dice side shifter. The dash is vintage and original, with the exception of some Sun Pro gauges, an attack, and a charging station. Moving towards the back of the coach, note that the walls have all been recovered in a quality upholstery fabric. fridge freezer combo. It's been serviced. It works well on 
gas or electric. Going further back, we have the bedroom, which is currently set up as two twins with a removable center table. However, the table does drop down and with the addition of a big closet and a couple of other panels, this space can be turned into a queen or king size bed. Not the LED lighting throughout. The reading lights actually have USB ports for charging phones. We have a smart TV. The thermostat for the onboard furnace. The furnace has been serviced and it works very well. The white switch is for the brand new water heater. It works on propane or 110. And we also have a 110 volt electric heater. If you're parked somewhere where you have power, you can consider some propane. Moving on to the bathroom. The bathroom has a shower with a stall, therefore not a wet bathroom. Brand new toilet. New fantastic fan. Once again, they've retained the original paneling for the vintage feel. All the plumbing is new. Um, it's been replaced with PEX. Also has a new 12 volt pump. Last but not least, the original owner's manual and the chassis manual.